The United States men's national hockey team put on an absolute show today, though Michael is probably going to bring down that mood entirely on this version of TYT Sports. So it was well, a 7-1. Look, was look I, said that I, I said that I was impressed. Six and you were like, come on, in the first don't, don't, don't even. And it's like they, they, they spent the entire second period in the, Scoring. Slovak, in, in the Slovak zone. I mean, they were, they were hardly playing defense. It was a huge win. Were you not great. impressed? I was way, impressed. After World War II, the Slovak zone was the most dangerous. It was, yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> I, I remember. The Slovak zone, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it was a huge truce that actually <laughs> let them go into the defensive zone. Um, I, uh, I'm, there's ever. nothing, um, well, you didn't get any of it. No, I didn't. Um, there's, uh, that's, so it doesn't matter how long it was, even if it was quick. This is longer than the movie Her. All right, yeah, no, so go nothing ahead. Nothing is. Um, it's an hour and a half, that movie. Um, <laughs> how would you know? <laughs> that's true. Um, the, the, it's an unbelievably impressive one. I just listen. They're playing Russia on Saturday. Slovakia is not Russia. In the pregame, as as uh, Ben pointed out, there are six or seven Slovaks who play in the NHL. I think number six. And you know the the U.S. team is an NHL All Star team. Of I counted American five. Players. By the way, for Slovakia, I had a. Uh, <laughs> Hosa Chara Tatar, who had the first goal of the yeah. game, he is so incredibly fast. Uh, Yaroslav Halak, and I believe Tomas Kopetsky. Uh, and Marion Gabrick did not even play. Well, that's so I they miss Marion Gabrick, badly. obviously, because you know that's goals right there. Mm -hmm. And even the goal that they did score was offsides. I mean, it shouldn't have been a goal. Yes. Yeah. Pierre Maguire brought that up. Do you? Do you? So okay. So look, I was watching the uh, women's game and Hillary Knight. You could try him in whenever you want, Benjamin. And uh, Hillary Knight, Pierre Maguire said. This is the best female player in the world. And I said that on a report. And then one person said, yeah, don't, don't trust Pierre Maguire. Don't do that. Do you trust Pierre Maguire as a viewing hockey fan? I mean, I trust. Listen, he's, a, he's, he's, a, he's an announcer. He's an announcer. He's an, he's an, he, he sits in between the glass, between is what the they benches. call it. Does he have conjunctivitis? Yeah. No, he, that's Bob Costa. Okay. Uh, <laughs> But Matt Lauer, ironically, was between the glass <laughs> last night. Um, no, I, uh, Pierre, listen, I, they all know more than I do. Yes. And, and he, it's a dopey job to be the person who's between the glass. It's the Pam Oliver of the NHL. Uh, it gives you a little bit of texture because you're on the ice, you're near the ice. He knows the players, the players Definitely. like him. So I think you know he, he has insights I think, that I won't I have. I think that, that that job, and I haven't seen it in hockey, but I think that job, the field reporter, is misdone. Like, they go to them for things that aren't, you know, I mean, like when it's an yeah. injury, it's nice to go Pam Oliver's details on, you know, right. Ellis's injury. Now it looks like a hyperextended knee, they say 50-50, but doesn't look good, back right. to you. Like that's, yeah. that's helpful. But like, it'd be neat if they had a camera and showed you a play every now and then. Like, let's right. go down to Pam Oliver and we'll get the next 30 seconds of ice time down right. here and she, or analyze you know, something that the cameras don't capture, yeah. uh, which, you know, here's what's going on on the bench. Do a little NFL yeah. films with it. I, right. mean, yeah. I think yeah. that's and a great thing. I just yeah. think it's missing. There are probably a lot of good ideas. I, I think uh, Tony Siragusa is the only person who's good at the job, too. He is good at yeah. it, at least they Oh, are. you both like Tony Siragusa. Well, I like, yeah. yeah. I, I do very much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think he's great I'm, at that job. He's the only person who's great at that job. It's sort of like, why don't they make him a color commentator? <laughs> because, yeah, I imagine uh, that that's coming. Yeah. Yeah, but who would they kick out? <laughs> Where do you start? Yeah, <laughs> the, the, I wouldn't be. Whatever they got, there's room yeah. for. Uh, there's always room for a, for a good. You can't okay. get rid of John Lynch. <laughs> you, you, uh, you said that they're going to have a hard time with Russia. Yeah, well, Why? I think they're going to have a harder time with Russia. First of all, they're playing. It's a it's a road game. Yeah. Uh, and there are more NHL players. This Russian team uh, is uh, well organized and ready. And they're and staying in Vladimir it. Putin's mansion, so I right. mean, they have uh, a leg up. Yeah. yeah. There's. I mean, I, I I think that the Russian, you know, the Russian old Russian. Russian hockey model it works very well against this team because you know you don't have listen I think they're gonna miss Bobby Ryan in this, <laughs> in this Olympics um, Bobby Ryan is goal scoring and the great goal scoring they're gonna need um, for uh, for Russia and for Canada is gonna be is gonna be absent I, it's really curious that Brian Burke didn't take Bobby Ryan sure and I um, I also agreed with you on that one by the way uh, the, the line of Patrick Kane Ryan Kessler and Dustin Brown I freaking love I'm biased yeah. obviously the, I but thought the line combinations uh, that, that Biles most putting together are fantastic yeah. Because you, there's no sort of hit him hard line. You're not putting. You're not top heavy. Only at David all. Backus is the only one that's a hit him hard guy. No, no, but, but I'm saying you're not. You're not. You don't. You're not front loaded at all. It's right. like balanced lines, which I think I would have thought was a mistake. But maybe you know, going to Slovakia, you can try that. But it really worked. Backus, Parisa, Callahan, Kane, Kessler, Dustin Brown, Pacioretty, Stasny, Oshie, Van Riemsdyk, Pavelski, uh, Kessel. Yeah, I mean those. those are Pavel Pavelski man. wasn't even on the score sheet. I've been trying to look up, uh, see what the line is for the U.S. Russia game Saturday. Yeah. I can't find it yet. It's not up yet, I guess, because it's a 
Like I'll call, I can call my friend Ben. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but just so you know, like Canada <laughs> opened at... Uh, that game's Saturday, by the way, against Russia. Saturday. Canada, yeah. Canada's 2-1 to one against the... 2-1 uh, to one to win. Russia was 12-5, to five, so right behind Canada. Sweden, 9-2. to two. The U.S., the fourth favorite at 6-1. to one. And just to put the win over Slovakia in some perspective, they're 33-1. to one. Yeah. So it's not like they... They didn't beat a powerhouse. The U.S. is fourth, you said? They're the fourth yeah. favorite. 6-1, to one, though. Those aren't that long odds. They're in the... No, they're and in the Finland upper. is a good team too, and they're, yeah. I don't know where, where where do they have Finland? They're fifth at eleven fifth, to one. I mean, Finland's and then a good the, team, and Finland can beat any of those then teams. Then the Czech Republic is at twelve to one, and then the others are kind of real yeah. long shots. Group A, by the way, with uh, the United States, Russia, Slovenia, and Slovakia. They play Russia Saturday, and then on Sunday they play Slovakia. February nineteenth is the quarterfinals. Russia looked good as well yeah. the, against the, Slovenia. Five the, one, uh, five Americans two wins. were a, a minus three twenty five in this game, so they were a right. significant favorite yeah. in this game. This was not a surprise, but it was encouraging to see all this goal scoring because I thought. Very that was going to be some, a problem they'd have. And listen, you know, Halak is a good goalie. I think, you know, I was surprised Montreal got rid of him. I think that he could take St. Louis uh, to the finals. Um, but but he did not look good. He was pulled. No. I mean, getting pulled in game one of the Olympics. Not great.